Hey beauties, it's Court. Welcome back to my channel. Please excuse my voice. I am a little hoarse right now. Brielle has been sick for the past few days. So to say the least, we have had a rough couple of days. Um, I think I've called her cold. I'm actually taking her to the doctor tomorrow. She never gets sick. Like she's two and a half and she has been sick to the point where I've taken her to the doctor once. Like this is the first time she's ever been this sick. And it's just like a sore throat and, you know, runny nose, whatever. I am mentally and physically drained. So I figured I would come up here and film a video and kind of de-stress and decompress and talk about, you know, aside from my children, my favorite thing in the whole world, which is makeup. Now, I've been kind of neglecting it lately. I have found out about myself that I'm not the best at keeping up with series. Series? I'm, I'm not the best at keeping up with series, but I do want to keep this one going until I make it all the way through what I wanted to make through. So randomly here and there, you will see videos for my top five series, um, top five products series. That's going to happen a lot. I told you I'm exhausted right now. Um, obviously, this is going to be foundations. I will do this in order from my top favorite to the one that is, um, that sucks for lack of a better term. Um, that's my honorable mention. It'll be the sixth one and it'll be the one foundation that I hate. So actually numbers one and two are going to be my top two holy grail, cannot live without drugstore and high-end foundation. So first we'll go ahead and do high-end and that is the Naked Skin from Urban Decay. This is incredible. I have not found a foundation that comes anywhere near the quality of this and what this does for me. Now remember when you're watching these um, these picks that I have, I have dry skin and it's like dry to normal. It's more normal but it does get dry once in a while. So these are my picks for my dry to normal skin. I also have a lot of um, fine lines and very severe creasing around my mouth and underneath of my eyes. That's life. I smoked for most of my life. I regret it now, but what are you going to do? So I need to find foundations that do not sink into my fine lines. And this and the drugstore one that I'm going to show you are literally two of the foundations that I've like ever found that don't sink into my, uh, mainly my mouth creases and the little wrinkles that I have between my eyebrows. Those are my two worst problem areas. Every foundation other than these two, like I said, just curls up in there and makes, you know, makes a little home inside those creases right there. Um, so the Naked, Naked, it's called the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. Puh. But this is just a very lightweight mm. foundation. You can see you have to shake it up before you use it. And you can see the texture. It just instantly starts running down the back of my hand, but it still has decent coverage to it. It's a, um, it's like a medium coverage. You can build it up a little bit, but I find once I start to build it up, it does start to kind of look a little bit more cakey, but you really have to use a lot to start to get that cakey look out of it. So yeah, that is probably, that is definitely my top high end Holy Grail foundation. Also, I am in the shade 1.0 if you needed to know that. My drugstore pick for my Holy Grail foundation is this Bourjois Healthy Mix. This is, um, I think this is a UK brand, Bourjois. I know you can also get it in Canada. I ordered mine off of eBay and it was one of the best eBay purchases I've ever made. It was $15 with shipping included. And this is just, it's pretty much just like the Naked Skin, except it's a little bit more of a thicker consistency. So it does have a little bit more coverage to it. But again, it does not sink into my fine lines. It does not cling on to dry patches. It has almost a luminous finish to it. Yeah, it has a luminous finish to it, but without being sticky on the skin. I hate, there's nothing more I cannot stand than when I'm driving in my car and I got my windows down and my hair flies in my face and sticks to my fucking foundation. Like that drives me 
insane because I can't use powder. Powders just do not work for me. I've tried them all and none of them, I cannot set my foundation. So for me to have a luminous finish foundation that doesn't get my hair stuck in it or, you know, when I itch my face, it doesn't like come off underneath of my nails or, you know, I don't have a line in the side of my face. This is just a very, very good formula. It also has apricot, melon, apple, and ginger for radiance, hydration, antioxidant, and energy, whatever that means. I don't think foundation can really give you energy, but I guess it just looks good on the bottle. It says it has fruit therapy and it's uh, radiance boosting. So yeah, that's the Bourjois Foundation Healthy Mix and I am in the shade 51. So there you can see, it does have a pump to it. So there you can see it on the back of my hand. It doesn't move, it doesn't go anywhere. Like I said, it is a little bit of a thicker consistency, but it does, it just if it just feels nice. Like it just feels good. Feels good, it's so good. My next pick is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I have also tried this in the liquid form as well, the new formulation that they have. I'm not crazy about the liquid form. It does tend to look a little bit cakey on my skin and sink into my fine lines. The stick form, however, is incredible. This is formulated to look good in pictures and on camera, and that is exactly what I like it for. It just makes your skin look absolutely flawless in HD, covers up any imperfections, does not sink into fine lines. I'm not crazy crazy about it being a stick just because my arm gets tired blending it out because it's a little bit stiffer than I'm really used to. Um, the way that I like to apply this is I do a little C on either side of my cheeks and then just kind of across the forehead, on the chin, and down the nose. And then I'll take um, either a flat top kabuki or even like one of those flat foundation brushes that nobody really uses anymore and kind of like, um, you know, just put it wherever I want it to be. And then I'll go in with my beauty blender and just make sure it's all blended out nicely because since I do have dry skin no matter what kind of foundation I use especially in the winter time I do have to go over it and make sure it's blended out especially on my nose with a beauty blender like I can't touch my nose with a brush when I'm when it comes to foundation because it will kind of like exfoliate my skin almost in a way and it'll just bring out all my dry patches and anything that I might have you know going on on my skin on my nose at the time so I do like to go over this and blend it out with a beauty blender and I just, I have to go to town and my arm gets tight, but that's like the only setback. Otherwise, the coverage of this is flawless. It just looks so beautiful, so smooth on your skin. It really just looks like natural skin on your face. I mean, everybody really hypes this up and I know sometimes it's really hard to wonder, you know, are, is everybody really telling the truth or is it just hyped up? Well... I can tell you right now, you know, I'm nobody, I, you know, you see how many subscribers I have. I don't get sponsorships. I don't get sent products. Everything that I buy, I purchase with my own money and I try it out as much as I possibly can before I give you my opinion on it. I have had this since it first, first came out months ago and I have fallen in love with it and I constantly use it. I am in the shade, really, 117 equals Y225. Why couldn't we just call it like zero or one? Why, why does it have to be all that? Like that's so confusing. Do you guys like my shirt? Isn't it so cute? Let me show it to you. It's a flannel and then it has like a fleece lined hood. Isn't it adorable? I should have put some kind of jewelry on, but I got this at Kmart. Apparently Adam Levine has a women's clothing line out. Amazing. It's adorable. And this was like 15 bucks. Can you believe that? $15. My next choice is a foundation that I have recently fallen in love with. And it's the foundation I'm wearing on my face right now. This is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible. I hated this for the longest time I could not understand the hype around it I was like you know there's no way that you guys like this foundation because it's just terrible it just there's so many little fuzzies what are all the fuzzies flying around in here what are they I don't understand like they're just they're fucking everywhere <laughs> I know you guys probably can't see them but they're super distracting there is no way everybody can like this foundation but um what I did was I tried it in a different shade. Um, my friend Amber, like my best friend in the entire world, she suggested to try another shade because she had tried one shade and she hated the way it looked on her that she tried a different shade and she was like, wow, this looks incredible. And not even because it matched her better. There's, I swear to God, there's something different in the formula between the shades with this foundation because I tried 101 because I'm usually the lightest shade in pretty much any foundation. 
but I bumped it up to 102. Not only does it match my skin so much better, apparently I have a lot to learn about matching foundation to my skin, but the formula in this is incredible. Now with me having dry skin, I do use some type of illuminating or hydrating primer underneath of it, as well as mixed into it. Today and yesterday, or the day before, I used the Becca Backlight, which Amber sent me, and it is incredible. And I used that as a primer, and I also used it mixed in with the foundation. And I just love the finish that it gives. For It, it still kind of gives you like more of a matte finish, but it's just not as drying when you mix it with more of a luminous or hydrating um primer so if you have dry skin and you've really been wanting to give this a go because you hear so many good things about it try mixing it with maybe an oil even like a um the argan oil from physicians formula or any type of illuminating um magic lumi from l'oreal i love mixing that into a lot of my foundations i think that would probably work really well try doing something like that and you might fall in love with this as much as i did does not sink into my fine lines. This is one of the only like can go pick it up down the street at any drugstore kind of foundations that doesn't sink into my fine lines. That is my main number one problem with drugstore foundations is sinking into fine lines. They can be flawless, beautiful. 10 minutes later, I look in the mirror and it's like, like I look like this and it's not even like it. It's not good. It's just not good. But with this one, it does not do that. And I can touch my skin. I can touch my face. And it dries down completely. And I love that about it. I love that I can just, you know, and, and there's, you know, touch my face and there's nothing on my fingers. So I really, really like this. Shell beige is what it's called. So my last and final foundation is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect. I'm in the shade 002 Vanilla. It has a pump on it, which is really nice. I really appreciate that in drugstore foundations. It is a little bit of a thicker formula, and it has not really like not really like a sticky feel, but it's definitely not as smooth as like say the Bourjois Healthy Mix. Like you can definitely feel it has a little bit more tackiness to it and it doesn't dry down all the way on my skin, which is one thing that I don't really appreciate about it. It does have a nice luminous finish on me and it also doesn't sink into my fine lines. This one, it kind of, it takes a while. Like it takes like between four and six hours before it starts to sink in, but it never breaks up. It never does any of those bad things, but it the only negative thing that it does is it kind of sinks in, but it takes a long, long time. So I'm just gonna say it doesn't. There isn't really much more I guess I can say about this. I mean, if you guys have any questions about any of these foundations, you know, like what I recommend them for oily skin or anything you can think of, you know the deal, just leave it down in the comments. My honorable mention, or my foundation that I keep thinking in my head like this is ass. Like this foundation is ass. I can't really describe it any other way. And it kind of, it pains me to say that. Like it physically breaks my heart. <laughs> because <laughs> if you watched my shit I wish I didn't get video, you probably already know what's coming. But oh my god, the packaging is just so beautiful. Am I being such a tease right now or what? I hate when people do this. They sit here and talk and talk and talk about a product, but they don't show you what it is. Here it is. <gasps> oh, it's so sad. <sighs> but I hate this. It is terrible. This is the only foundation that I've ever worn, ever, ever, that has made me oily. I couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. Not only did it make me oily, it settled into my lines worse than any drugstore foundation. I don't know what is in this formula, but it is just terrible. It took like, I don't know, maybe an hour. And I look like, like a little old lady. Like this is what my face looked like after like an hour of wearing it. Like I was fucking constipated with all these lines and wrinkles all over my face. And it just is not good. And not only did it sink into all my fine lines and make me oily, it also separated on my skin, which is another problem that I have never had to deal with before until this fucking thing. And I, it's surprisingly enough, once I came out and said that I hated this foundation, I had so many people messaging me, leaving comments, telling me all over the place that they hate it too. They don't like it. And I feel like 
this is one of those items that's just hyped up. It's Too Faced. Everybody loves Too Faced. Nobody wants to piss them off. Nobody wants to say anything bad about their products because, you know, we're all supposed to just love to. Well, not everything Too Faced does is amazing. I'm sorry. It's just not. This foundation is one prime example. There's a couple other products that I just don't like from Too Faced. Or I'm not afraid to say, you know, I, I like Too Faced as a brand, but these specific products just didn't work for me and I just don't like them and don't recommend them. I am always going to be honest with you, 100% truthful, no matter what. There's no reason to lie. Nobody benefits from that. I don't benefit from that. You definitely don't benefit from that. And this is your channel. I know it's my channel, but it's all about you guys. It's about helping you guys find better makeup products, avoiding spending money on things that aren't worth it, like that piece of crap right there. And it's all about helping you. It also helps me. I mean, I learn new things having this channel all the time from you guys. So it all comes back to you. This is your channel. So like I said, I will never lie about anything like that. And I mean, end of my little rant, I guess. So don't buy the Too Faced board in this way. It's terrible. If you like it though, you know, whatever. Different, different strokes for different folks. Of course, I say that all the time. Not specifically that, but we're all different and I love that about the world. But these five babies right here, these are incredible. I will recommend these to any dry skinned baby as far as oily skin. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you're interested in any of these and I will tell you why or why not you should try them. But otherwise, this concludes my top five favorite foundation videos. That's a mouthful to get out. Say that five times fast. Let's try it. Top five foundation videos. 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 <gasps> I did it. That was awesome. I love you guys so damn much. I really feel so much better after filming this video. This is why I have my channel. I just kind of got to escape life for a couple minutes and just talk about things that I love. And I really appreciate you guys always being there for me. I've had so many well wishes for Brie in the last couple of days. And I just fucking love you guys. You know I do with all of my heart. You guys have saved my life over and over and over again maybe not my life but definitely my day or my week and i just i love you guys so much for that so please subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in my next video Mwah.